ladies and gentlemen, there was a story that came out that seemed to have very limited information. There was some conflicting information, especially when it came to who was being arrested, who was being charged, because they did not have a picture out there initially, and they definitely did not have an accurate description, which I thought was a little weird. Let me explain what I mean. If somebody hurts a child, if somebody is arrested in that case, whether they're guilty or not, because they're all going to have their day in court, I still believe that it is important to the community, to the world, to the news, to us as citizens, for us to know who has been arrested. For whatever reason, unless there is just some, some detrimental reason why they can't release the information and the, and the pictures, I don't know why they don't. And I think that's very weird how we got to wait weeks and months and sometimes years before they finally show a face and say, hey, this is the person that was arrested. But every day you got websites like Just Busted and some of these other websites when people go in for traffic tickets and and sweeps and DUIs and stuff like that. And their pictures are put out there all the time. So here's my thing. If anybody is accused of doing something to a child, in my opinion, I don't mind their identity being put out there until they are able to clear their name. I think that's only fair. Do y'all think I'm wrong for saying that? Matter of fact, let me say this for the people who came for the news, but I don't know if y'all know this, but this ain't the news. If you are on this channel, this is not the news. What this is, is me giving my commentary on things that have happened and stuff that the news has reported. So if you came for the news, then all you got to do is Google search the story. The individual that you see scrolling across my screen is the person who I believe was the man that was arrested. The California personal trainer and father, and I wanna, want y'all to hear this, he is accused of beheading, decapitating his two children at their home last week, and he has been seen for the first time in a video showing the moment he was taken into custody on a gurney, huh? Now there's a reason why I'm talking about that and I also have some video evidence that might actually prove that that individual that you guys see on my screen, let me see if I can back that up like a U-Haul truck for a moment. I believe that's the individual that they have arrested and yes, it is a black man, not a Mexican man that they had showing on some websites. Matter of fact, for the people who are posting on Facebook that are showing a Mexican man, there's a few reasons why I'm going to show you guys that that information is wrong and they're putting the wrong face out there. The individual right here, that individual's name is Maurice Taylor Sr. Or better known as Maurice J. Taylor Sr. who is 34 years old. Matter of fact, would y'all like to know his middle name? Not that it's super important, but I just think it's a funny fact. Because sometimes with these sad stories, you got to talk about things that are a little bit comical because what really happened is really, really sad. <sighs> Maurice Jewel Taylor Sr. Jewel, J-E-W-E-L. His middle name is Jewel. Not that it matters, but it's a funny fact. Maurice Jewel Taylor Sr. I don't know if that means anything, but I'm just throwing it out there, okay? <laughs> now, he is arrested on Friday for allegedly murdering his daughter, who's 13 years old, and his son, who is 12 years old, and I now have their names. So their names are 12-year-old Maurice Taylor Jr., and the 13-year-old's name is Malaika Taylor, M-A-L-A-K-A. Now, I can put their names out there. Unfortunately, they are deceased. They are no longer at risk. They are no longer a part of this conscious living world, which is really, really sad. But like I say, they don't stand any more risk right now. So I don't mind putting their information out there. So 12-year-old Maurice Taylor Jr. obviously was his younger son, named after him. And then the 13-year-old girl, Malika Taylor. 
Let me throw this at you guys real quick. Just look at the names. These are some of the screenshots that we believe is of the father that was arrested. So I want to, I want y'all to look at these photos. Matter of fact, let me see if I can make that a little bit bigger for you guys. Let me pull up my photos real quick. Let's go with, I'm gonna cover up my screen for a moment. Y'all see this picture? I want y'all to look at that and tell me if these two pictures look similar. Do those look similar? Does that look like it could possibly be the same person? Let's take a look at this one. Is it possible that that's the same person? Because if it is, then that means that person on the left is this individual right here. If that's true, then this is the individual and also this one. This is who we believe to be Maurice Jewel Taylor Sr., who was 34 years old, and he have he has a 34-year-old's hairline, just like me. <laughs> it's receding, like most 34-year-olds, right? So if we have that correct, then the rest of this story is going to be accurate based on what we've learned. Now, let's keep going. Also, by his name, I was going to say about his name, Maurice Taylor Sr. sounds more like a black person's name rather than a Mexican person's name. Okay? Now, authorities made the gruesome discovery while responding to reports of a possible gas leak at the property on the 45,000 block of Century Circle where the children were found in separate bedrooms with lacerations and stab wounds. An adult female thought to be the victim's mother and two other children were also present in the home at the time. They appeared to be unharmed and were questioned by the officers. But let me say this. I think it was actually his wife, not his mother, but I think it was his wife because it was two adults four children, but I think the other adult was his wife. Okay. Thought I'd throw that out there. So let's see. It says an adult woman presumed to be the suspect's wife and the mother of the victim. So there you go. So y'all can see where I'm getting my information from. And I'm going to talk about what actually makes sense. Okay. Now police said at the time that one of the adults had been transported to the local hospital for difficulty breathing Although it's unclear if that was that guy whose Facebook is still open. Maurice Taylor was arrested without struggle and booked into Lancaster station where he is being held on a $2 million bond. He is due to appear in court on Tuesday. It is unknown what motivated the alleged attack and the, in and the incident remains un under investigation. However, Taylor's personal trainer clients told the LA Times that they had grown concerned over his well-being earlier in the week. So let's talk about that, Mr. Personal Trainer. The fitness trainer, who was described as mellow and reliable, had sparked, convert, uh, had sparked concerns when he failed to show up for fitness sessions he had been running over Zoom. Howard Kern, an attorney and writer who had taken a personal who had taken personal training sessions with Taylor for about seven years, told the Times that he reported the gas leak Friday morning, leading fire department to find the bodies. I said, I'm concerned. We are concerned about a possible gas leak. There are four children and two adults, and we're concerned about their safety, Kern told the paper. The Los Angeles County Fire Department were called to the single story home at about 7.50 a.m., which I'll show you guys that on video. Lancaster Mayor R. Rex Paris said both victims had been decapitated. Both victims had, had been decapitated. 
LA County Sheriff's deputies responded out to the location and saw that there were two individuals inside, both very young, possibly in their teenage years, deceased, according to Lieutenant Dean, told the reporters at the scene on Friday morning. Uh, of course, I already told you guys who they were, which was, which was his son who was 12 and his daughter who was 13. It doesn't seem to be that the cause of death from the two people inside have anything to do with the gas leak, he said. Another client told the Times that she had also been contact that she had contacted the Sheriff's Department days earlier on Tuesday when Taylor failed to show for a session over Zoom. She said she knew something was wrong when he didn't send a Zoom link for, the, for a session and then didn't show up for the allotted time. The client who spoke anonymously said she and another and other clients tried, tried and failed to contact him and started contacting each other, voicing concerns that something had happened. I knew they weren't out of town. They didn't have money to travel. Now, I wonder how they knew that. They said they didn't know that they had money to travel. But anyway, they were afraid of carbon monoxide poisoning or they were all dead from falling asleep. She described Taylor as so reliable, so responsive and mellow. It's not clear whether or not deputies responded to the home on Tuesday when she contacted LASD. Deputies were uh, questioned the four people inside the home at the time, including Taylor and an adult female and two children. Okay. He was, now here's another thing you guys can confirm because you can probably tell by his shirt. So maybe y'all can look that up. He was a personal trainer at the Santa Monica Physical Therapy and Fitness Center, but was now holding sessions over Zoom due to the pandemic. Kern told the Times that he worried that Taylor was living under tremendous amount of pressure, having lived and worked on his own since he was 18. And being in a marriage, Kerr described as contentious. Now, why would they say his marriage was contentious? I don't know. But the client said that he would often hear Kern on the phone to his wife at the gym and hear her yelling at him. I'm going to read that part again. The client said that she would often hear Kern on the phone to his wife at the gym and her and and uh and hear her yelling at him. He'd be very apologetic and she'd be yelling at him. At this man, the wife. And I think the wife's name is Natalie if I'm not mistaken. He described she he describes him as the nicest person that you know, then multiply that by 5. He worked so hard to support himself, and unfortunately, we don't have we don't know enough to say what happened or what didn't happen. Mayor Paris says he believes the fallout from the pandemic had created a stressful environment. What I'm seeing is more and more people feeling desperate, and that can only have one result, which I don't like the fact that he said that. Because I feel like you're giving people an out, like a reason. But a property owner in the area told the Times that he thought only two children lived in the home. He said the home environment looked strange with the family keeping to themselves and the windows were often blacked out in a neighborhood where most others would stop and chat outside. Now, let me show you guys the news videos. Let me give you the fair usage. Let's talk about this. Let's get it. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. This is the video of them wheeling him outside. And I want y'all to notice that this is a black man and not a Mexican man. I'm going to back that up so y'all can see it again. OK. 
Can y'all see that? Right there. say little as they walk past us and the yellow crime scene tape off the usually quiet Lancaster neighborhood where this morning LA County Fire and the gas company responded to a gas leak. LA County Fire personnel made entry to the site location and immediately saw two people inside uh, deceased. LA County Sheriff deputies responded out to the location and saw that there was two individuals inside, uh, both very young, possibly in their teenage years. A male and female, both African Americans and seemingly not dead from gas inhalation. Possibly suffering from some type of a uh, sharp trauma, uh, either stabbing or slicing device. At this time, it doesn't seem to be that the uh, cause of death from the two people inside have anything to do with the gas leak. Young, possibly in their teenage years. A male and female, both African Americans and seemingly not dead from gas inhalation individuals inside uh, both very young possibly in their teenage years a male and female both African Americans and seemingly not dead from female both African Americans and a male and female both African Americans and seemingly not dead from gas inhalation so they say they were black the kids they said African American that means they're black meaning one of the parents has to be black and in this case I believe it's the father just by proxy because his black son has the name Maurice Taylor Jr., 12 years old, which sounds like that's his father, which would be black, right? Possibly suffering from some type of a uh, sharp trauma, uh, either stabbing or slicing device. At this time, it doesn't seem to be that the uh, cause of death from the two people inside have anything to do with the gas leak. Inside the house, four other people, two adults and two children. They're one of the uh, adult individuals that was uh, at the scene when we arrived, uh, was transported to the local hospital just for difficulty breathing. Adult individuals that was uh, at the scene when we arrived, uh, was transported to the local hospital just for difficulty breathing. One of the uh, adult individuals that was uh, at the scene when we arrived uh, was transported to the local hospital just for difficulty breathing. And I want y'all to remember that and watch whenever they wheel the person out on that gurney. Okay? So just remember that point. Adults and two children. They're one of the uh, adult individuals that was uh, at the scene when we arrived uh, was transported to the local hospital just for difficulty breathing now and I, I just actually finished talking to a source a very good source in the department who is telling us first of all the person in the hospital who was hospitalized or at least checked out in a hospital is going to be okay they have been talking to the four people who were in the house they're telling me that the wounds are really severe on these two young people so much so that they it's, it's almost like and they, they i don't want to use the word precisely decapitated, but that is the word that he used. So um, we're going to try to confirm a little bit more about this, but sources in the department uh, telling me at this point that these are really severe wounds. There is no doubt in their mind that the gas leak had nothing to do with their deaths. We will keep you updated. I am Christina Gonzalez. Back to you in the studio. Wow. A family tragedy in Lancaster, two children found decapitated inside their home and their father is under arrest. Firefighters had initially responded to reports of a possible gas leak at this home on Century Circle. Then they stumbled on the horrific scene. They immediately called sheriff's deputies and paramedics who removed the bodies of a 12-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl. One appears to be a male. One appears to be a female, possibly suffering from some type of a uh, sharp trauma. It doesn't seem to be that the uh, cause of death from the two people inside have anything to do with the gas leak. Deputies arrested the children's father, 34-year-old Maurice Taylor, on suspicion of murdering both children. Taylor, along with an adult woman and two other children, were found inside the home and interviewed by homicide detectives. He's being held now on $2 million bail. All right, let me go ahead and give you guys my closing thoughts about this. First and foremost, 
for all the reasons that we specified, the fact that they said that the kids that are deceased are black kids, and the fact that one of those black kids has the exact same name as the dad, I would believe that the dad is black for that reason. Okay? Not only that, but the Mexican person's face that they put out there, well, I'm not going to even talk about that guy's name, but it was some comedian who had COVID. That definitely was not the right person. But they put that on some websites thinking that that was this individual, but this is the guy I believe that we have this one correct, and I don't think we're going to have to make any retractions. I think we're 100% correct about this, and I want to make sure and put some respect on his 12-year-old son's name and the 13-year-old girl, Malika Taylor. And it's just really sad, the fact that what they're trying to say is that the mother was stressing this man out so much to the point to where he ended up taking it out on his kids. And I'm sorry, you're just never gonna get me to believe that hurting children, hurting your own kids, is ever a proper response for anything that you're going through, period, for any reason. Now, I'm not advocating for violence against the mom, but it doesn't make sense to take it out on the kids. And for that, like I said, if he's guilty of what he's being charged with and what he's being accused of, then like I say, man, he'll have his day in court and we'll just have to kind of go from there. But at least for now, this will be the only place that you'll be able to see this information, see this face and realize that this is co the correct face, not the comedian that they were trying to put up on there and say that, no, it's this other guy. No, that's who we believe it is. I looked up his Facebook. His Facebook is still active. There were some things that I researched on there and I try to be very careful before I present you guys with some information. And this is who I believe to be Maurice Jewel Taylor Sr., the individual who was responsible for decapitating and murdering his own children. And like I said, for that, Mr. Personal Trainer, and whatever the case is that you were going through, there's no excuse for that. Like I said, here, here again are those screenshots. I think that's the right person. But like I said, man, we want to wish an RIP to those young souls, 12-year-old Maurice Taylor Jr. and 13-year-old Malika Taylor, to young king and young princess, and young, and young prince and young princess, RIP. This is your boy DJ Just J, and hopefully this video will be clear when you guys watch this on the replay. But we advocate for children first, and make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and share this story so more people can know about what happened to them, okay? Thank you.